Once, the Darling family resided in London, comprising the parents and their three children, Michael, John, and the eldest girl, Wendy. Wendy, a caring and loving sister, always looked after her siblings. The family employed a nanny for the children, an unusual choice in the form of a large Newfoundland dog named Nana. One day, the children expressed their longing for Peter Pan, Captain Hook, and Tinker Bell. The following evening, as Mr. and Mrs. Darling prepared to attend a party, they gathered their kids, hugged them, and bid them farewell. After the parents left, the children returned to their bedroom to sleep. Shortly thereafter, an unexpected event occurred. A light descended onto the roof, marking the return of Peter Pan and Tinker Bell. Peter Pan, with great caution, opened the window and entered the house. Tinker Bell, meanwhile, flew around the house, creating disturbances by making noise and dropping objects. Peter Pan warned against making noise to avoid waking up the household. In the midst of the chaos, Tinker Bell uncovered a drawer where Peter Pan's shadow was hidden. Peter struggled to reattach his shadow but failed. Wendy, already awake, observed the scene with astonishment. Peter Pan explained his predicament and asked for help. Wendy, taking charge, offered to sew the shadow back in place. During this process, Peter Pan shared stories about Neverland, where he lived with the Lost Boys, serving as their captain. Tinker Bell, feeling a twinge of jealousy, interjected. Impressed by Peter Pan's adventurous life, Wendy was invited to join him. Peter Pan suggested that Wendy could become a mother figure to the Lost Boys, telling them bedtime stories. As Wendy finished sewing the shadow, Peter Pan expressed gratitude by gifting her a walnut pendant. When Wendy introduced her brothers, John and Michael, to Peter Pan, they were thrilled to meet him. Peter Pan proposed embarking on a flying journey reassuring them that belief and a sprinkle of pixie dust would make it possible. Tinker Bell, hesitantly, contributed the necessary pixie dust. Tinker Bell showered them with pixie dust. Are you ready to fly? Peter asked. Yes, okay, then let's go. And so, they began their journey. Along the way, they passed iconic landmarks like the London Bridge and the Clock Tower. Soon, they started flying above the clouds, greeted by the morning sun. The world's largest building came into view after a few miles. Neverland appeared on the horizon, and they landed on a soft cloud to admire the breathtaking scenery. Amidst the beauty, they noticed various landmarks, such as the Mermaid Lagoon and the smoke rising from the Red Indian Camp. Peter warned them not to ignore the Jolly Roger, the ship where Captain James Hook and his pirates resided. Despite Hook being the meanest pirate ever, he lived in fear of a crocodile, which had once bitten off his hand. Tinker Bell shared a mischievous anecdote about how the crocodile, enamored by the taste, followed Hook ever since. Fortunately for Hook, the crocodile had swallowed a clock, allowing Hook to hear its tick-tock warning when it was nearby. While Peter and his friends were enjoying the view, a pirate spotted them through a spyglass, alerting Captain Hook. The pirates aimed cannons at Peter and his friends, 
leading to a chaotic scene. Peter decided to take on Hook, instructing Tinkerbell to take the kids to safety. Meanwhile, Tinkerbell devised a plan to separate Wendy from the group. As Peter and Hook engaged in a fierce battle, the Lost Boys, following Peter's orders, aimed arrows at Wendy, mistaking her for a bird. The arrow hit Wendy's chest, causing her to fall into the bushes. Tinker Bell, along with the Lost Boys, accused Peter of cowardice for not protecting Wendy. However, it was revealed that the arrow had hit a walnut pendant Peter had gifted Wendy, sparing her from harm. The Lost Boys apologized, and Wendy, now safe, opened her eyes. Peter suggested going inside for a bedtime story, and the group left to visit the Mermaid Lagoon the next day. At the lagoon, they witnessed pirates tying up Tiger Lily, the Indian princess. Peter, mimicking Captain Hook's voice, shouted to set her free, realizing that he had to save her. Captain, you ordered us to bring her here. Let her go, stupid. It's my new strategy to catch Peter Pan. Lily, you're adopted, the pirate says, tiger. Lily is free, she ran quickly back to the Indian camp. When Captain Hook found out what had happened, he knew Peter had tricked his pirates. Hook became furious, enough. Now I will teach Peter Pan a lesson. I'm coming for you, Peter Pan. That night, Wendy told the boys a story about three children who left their parents and flew to Neverland. Their mother and father missed them very much. The children loved Neverland, but they never forgot their home. Doesn't this sound like our journey? Peter agrees. Oh, yeah, this is all about us. Sometimes parents forget their children, other children take their place. Our parents must be waiting for us. We should go home now, we will leave tomorrow morning. Peter asks, but who will tell us the stories? Wendy replies, why don't you all come along? You can live with us. Yeah. It will be great to have a family. <laughs> Peter, don't you want to come with us? Peter Pan was sad because his friends were leaving the next day, and he would be all alone. In the morning, the children left the house. Peter didn't go out to see them departing. Captain Hook's pirates were hiding nearby. They captured all the children, tied them up, and took them to the pirate ship. Tinkerbell was watching them from the treetop. Oh God, where is Peter Pan? I must alert him. She calls out, Peter. Peter, where are you? Peter, what happened? Tinkerbell suggests, Let's go save our friends. The pirates caught them. Peter Pan agrees. Oh, okay. Let's go and feed Captain Hook to the crocodile. On the pirate ship, all the kids were tied up. You will be a perfect lunch for the crocodile, and she will spare me forever. Captain Hook started his thoughts. Suddenly, Peter wanted his sword, and Hook fell into the sea. Back at the end of Captain Hook, Tinkerbell untied the kids. They all gathered around Peter Pan. You are praised, Peter, like a hero in the stories. 
Now I will tell your story to all the kids. Peter responds, Well, it's my honor. Come on, get ready to leave, or have you changed your mind? Wendy pleads, Peter, please come with us. Peter Pan declares, I'm Peter Pan, who never grows up. I will accompany you till your home. They all set off for London. Wendy's parents were happy to see their children again. Mr. and Mrs. Darling hugged Wendy, John, and Michael. I knew he would come back one day. I missed you so much, my babies. Wendy introduces, who are these kids? She explains, they are lost boys, Toodles, Nibs, Slightly, Curly, and the twins. They came from Neverland to live with us. Wendy's parents happily agree, can they stay with us? Peter, floating outside the window, says, oh, cool. Peter continues, I'm going to stay in Neverland, where I will never have to grow up. Goodbye. Then, Peter. We'll miss you. Goodbye, Wendy. Goodbye, boys. Don't forget me, Peter Pan and Tinkerbell.